Hey guys, this is Mel of RTC1, coming at you with a Digimon World Next Order for the PS4 Max Stats Guide. This guide was put together with the help of my good friend Martin. Do you want beefy Digimon, like this Beomon or Salomon, that follow these simple steps? Starting with the baby stage and in training stage, simply use the gym until they digivol digivolve soon after into their rookie stages. If your Digimon are off by a few days balance, simply use Devil Chips to rebalance unless you truly want them imbalanced. Once they digivolve into the rookie stage, head over to Odd Cape to fight some Seedramon and make sure you are far enough in the game to beat them. I recommend using electric moves because they're a major plus. At first the enemies may seem a little tough, but your stats will rise a lot for this easy champion enemy. Your Digimon stats will start to cap at around 3500 strength, 3700 stamina, and 2700 speed. Here's the specific location on the mod cape map to fight these Seedramon in the mod ship 3.0. Make sure you have plenty of discs for MP and HP. Be prepared for this, because it will start off tough, like I said. After you're done with this, start to head over to the Faulty X Mechana area in the Control Island position. I'll show you this little map right here. This is what it looks like. You're going to be fighting some Orange War Growlbon. For these battles, I recommend fighting moves. What's great about these fights is that they are self-sustaining when it comes to the item use because their drops for the items replenish your supply. These fights will again be tough at first, but you'll soon be able to get three shots on them in no time at all. Your rookie Digimon stats will start to cap at around 18,000 HP. 14,000 MP, 6,400 Wisdom, and 6,400 Speed. What's great is at this point in the game, everything is beatable. That's except for a few post-game fights, but everything's just going to be wiped clean. So now you can fight some harder enemies and keep raising those stats until they digivolve to champion. Now, here's a few helpful notes and prerequisites before you start trying to max stat grind. First off, at least be in chapter 2 of the game, because this will more than likely be far too difficult before this point. Make sure before you start adventuring, stack up on some attack boosts that are from Gargomon. You're going to need them to start this off. Next, keep in mind that the champion and ultimate stages have cap stats boosts, er, Stat caps lower than 9999, but Rookie does not. So once they digivolve into Champion, you will have to wait for Mega before trying to max stats again. So it's best to do this in the Rookie stage. The Rookies I recommend for this first time, if it is your first time, are Renamon and Patamon for the grind because they can both use electric and fighting moves. Something very helpful before starting this off is using Sorcerer Mon or Bergermon for quick travel. You can recruit Sorcerer Mon in the Bony Drive area, and to get him you also have to get Ikaku Mon, and he's located in the Frost Cathedral, so keep that in mind too. It's great because Sorcerer Mon can give a free location sending once a day, so it's very helpful to get to places really easy and free. Next, if you want enemies to respawn, simply have a tent. Go in and out of your tent and the enemies will respawn without having to leave the map. The final tip is bring plenty of Seraphimon's food in order to restore fatigue. The best of these foods, or at least what is recommended because it not only gives stat boosts but it also recovers fatigue, is the Paradise Fruit Basket. In order to recruit Seraphimon, make sure you go to the Dead Inn area town, and that's where she will be, and she'll join you up. 
so pretty easy. Best of luck in getting those max stats for your rookie Digimon and beyond. This has been Malavar TC1. Make sure you like and subscribe. You guys are awesome, and have a wonderful day.